The Pierce County Sheriff's Department just announced it busted a large cockfighting ring in Buckley. It was very odd to see something like that pop up in the news. Natasha Hackett and Ashley Prevett are part of the Downtown Buckley Association. To me, it feels so random because it's not anything I would associate with the city of Buckley. Rooster fighting operation here. The Sheriff's Department released this video showing the work that went into rescuing the roosters born and bred to battle each other. Roosters that are altered, their uh, combs and their waddles are cut off. Um, that prevents injuries to them when they're fighting, makes them last longer in a fight. Investigators found knives and boxing gloves they'd place on the animals, along with a variety of vet supplies, over-the-counter, and prescription medications. Certainly a lot of solid uh, proof beyond reasonable doubt that this is a, a rooster fighting operation. It feels very out of character to even hear that something like that had happened. Natasha and Ashley are still trying to wrap their heads around this news. With us having such a strong farming community, I don't believe that any of our farmers or community who depend on that for their living would support that. They both are adamant. This cockfighting ring bus does not represent okay. the city of Buckley or the people who live here. I would hope that people would think that this is just kind of a one off. I mean, people are random and people do weird things and this just happened to be something that happened in our town, but it does not define our town in any way, shape or form. Typically in situations like this, the animals rescued have to be put down because they're so aggressive, but the Sheriff's Department says they are working with animal control to find shelters to rehab them. In Buckley, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News.